Somebody help, somebody help, somebody help, somebody help. <laughs> agreed to go on a date with a man and he's white. Not his boyfriend texts me while I'm getting ready for a date. He's also 30, I'm 21. So... 15 minutes and I still haven't done my hair. I was thinking about wearing it like this. Maybe not. Makeup's done though. I still have to glue my nail back on. I am frantically straightening my hair. I feel insecure about my outfit. I'll show you guys my outfit. Okay, so I'm wearing this and the shoes. Okay, time to go. Wish me luck. Love you guys. Bye. Guys. She feels insecure about her outfit, but we all know what she's actually insecure about, that it's a white guy. If you want to be toxic, here's a good texting tip. Take one really good saucy photo. I don't care how risque or not risque you want to be. Just take a cute photo of yourself. Put some text over the top of it that makes men feel good, like, all for you, this is for you, just for you. Send it, but save it first. And at some point in the near future, either in the next hour, the following day, whatever, send the exact same photo. The exact same that you saved with the text in the exact position, the exact words that you used the last time. Then when he says, oh, you already sent me this, be like, oh my god, did I? Ha ha. Now he's wondering who else you said all for you too, because clearly it was not all for him. Go forth and blossom, young ones. Who falls for these traps, 12 year olds. No man with any common sense would fall for it. Plus, if you're on your purpose, you wouldn't care about her thirst traps. When you accidentally go on a first date in a hurricane because you feel bad canceling last minute and he wants to go. This is me on my way to a first date. <laughs> my umbrella is flipped over. It's totally just a storm. I'm to the date, which was one single hour long, um, in which he made me pay <laughs> for myself. When I checked here in a little hurricane, um, we walked outside and he said, yeah, you're right, we should have rescheduled. Ew. Zero out of ten. I do not recommend going on a date. In a tornado slash hurricane. And we're back on the couch where I wanted to be the whole night anyway with a margarita. Cheers to dating in New York City. She's actually a nice girl, but come on. Is Chad worth the risk of getting swept up into a tornado? Use some common sense. You so nasty. <laughs> what you mean what I'm about to do? No, 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 <laughs> no, we're in a relationship. You need to figure out the best time for you uh, as far as your schedule for me to meet your mama. <laughs> uh -huh. You gonna call me an Uber, ain't it? I know it. <laughs> Listen, uh, real quick, can it at least be a, a Uber Black uh, XL Super Deluxe Edition? <laughs> I got the ride in style. I need some comfort, okay? <laughs> Nah, the most you get is those city bikes that is available to everyone. This is the reason why I pretend to be asleep when she leaves, so I don't have to deal with the Uber situation. She's a 10, but all her friends are guys. 84. Could have had anyone she wanted, yet she picked me.